Let's come in here with a word from our sponsor, the POEM, the Professional Organization of English Majors. You know, they say that, they say that the book is going out. Book publishing coming to an end or something, that's what they say, but of course they're, they're wrong. As long as there's public transportation, there will always be books. Oh, oh my gosh. Look who just got on the bus, that creepy guy. Oh, thank goodness I have a book with me. Yes, reading a book is a way of defending your personal space against unwanted social interaction. Hold the book up high, close to your face, don't take your eyes off it. Sheila, the wild goose, flew high over the earth, over the fields of corn and the green pastures, over the rivers and the mountains. Other geese flew in V formation, but Sheila flew alone. She'd always flown solo because she liked to take her time and look at things and not just fly, fly, fly. A book is a tool for preventing conversation and it tells people that you're a thoughtful and a discerning person. Oh, my boss, Mr. Denham. I always thought he was a creep and a loser, but look, he's reading a book. I guess I was wrong. It was autumn, and the vast herds of lemmings were migrating, heading toward the cliff, all except for Leonard. He was shy, and so the other lemmings scorned him and refused to let him join them on their journey to mass suicide. <laughs> and instead, he stayed in a little ravine with plenty to eat and a cozy nest, and lived for years past a lemming's life expectancy. If you have a job interview, you have a tiny resume, you're inarticulate, come early, sit in the waiting room, read a book, and they'll form a good first impression of you. Marshall was the only field mouse who wore glasses, a tiny pair of spectacles made by Mr. Opossum, the optometrist. Other field mice laughed at Marshall, but when the great snowy owl came gliding over the corn stubble to grab up little mice in its talons, it wasn't Marshall they picked up. The reflection from his lenses frightened the owls away, and so he lived to a ripe old age, not knowing that the very thing other field mice laughed at was his greatest defense. Books, they set you apart in a way that's beneficial to you. Look, she's reading a book that's received favorable critical attention, not a piece of trash. Hmm, maybe I should get to know her better. You gotta be crazy. Anglais très chic. That's the language you want to speak. The professional organization of English majors. <laughs>